All right, sup guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this is the final video of the day. We're doing 10 per day over the next 10 days, and uh, at the end of it, we will have a, a video series um, for you to enjoy, hopefully. Uh, welcome back to season number five, uh, video number 10 of the NFL Top 100 Players of 2022. It is a series that is close to my heart. It's a series that I began as an absolute fucking amateur. I thought I knew everything about football. I thought I, I, I knew what it what it felt like to take a hit. I thought I thought I knew um, what it took to be a successful running back, uh, wide receiver, quarterback, all that shit. Look, at the end of the day, um, I've really had to humble myself over the last few years, and so I've come to this point where I I'm just appreciative of um, Anyone that can get out there and, and, and get through a, a full season, to be honest, get through a full season with the knocks that are involved, with the training that's involved, um, you know, it's no secret that running back is my favorite position. Um, wide receiver would have to be my second favorite. Quarterback would have to be my third favorite. But fourth and close fourth is tight end. And today we're looking at a tight end and we're not only looking at any tight end, we're looking at a rookie tight end. And we're looking at a rookie tight end that's had this that's that's come into the league with the stats um, to rival any. You know what I mean? Any receiver, any tight end in the entire league to this point would be stretched to have the out-and-out -out athletic ability of this guy. So this is a rookie tight end. He's made it onto the list of the NFL Top 100 players, which is incredible. His name's Kyle Pitts. He plays for the Falcons. And um, let's see what's up. Try to devastate him. I tried to pummel him, and he swam me. Good, good move. He Jeez, that was a bit easy, me. wasn't it? Didn't score the touchdown, I tried, did he? I tried to murder him. He's different, you know? Like, um... He's different, man. How different, you ask? Well, let me have a look. Not only is he six foot six, that's almost two meters. He should have played basketball. He could have played basketball. But he's not skinny. He's 245 pounds. So six six, two forty-five. We're talking like a LeBron James type structure here. Uh, not only that, he ran, if I can just bring this up, a 4.4 flat 40 yard dash, a 33 and a half inch vertical, a 10 foot 9 broad jump and 22 reps on the bench, being 6 foot 6 and 245 pounds. That is not normal. He signed a four year rookie contract worth $32.9 million uh, to, the, to the Falcons. He played three years at college. Uh, came into his own in the last two years, but I'm I'm led to believe it was there was some there was some sort of injury. Was there an injury? No, maybe it was just the COVID type um, restrictions on the season. Anyway, at the end of the day, he won the John Mackey Award as the most outstanding tight end in college football for the season. Uh, got picked up, like I said, uh, pick number four. Uh, you know, it's not often that a tight end we get get picked up in the in the first five picks. Uh, you know, played at Florida, Florida Gators, boom. And um, balled out and got 1,026 receiving yards in his first NFL career season. So let's see what's up. He's different. And maybe the most unique. A 6'6 six, six target with 4'4 four, four speed. Yeah, that is, um, I'll tell you what, as a guy who loves stats, as a guy who just read out those stats, 6'6 um, six, six with 4.4 four speed. Oh, you can do a lot with that, I'll tell you what. And pits down the sideline. Get off Tremendous me, son. Speed. He is as fast as any tight end. He's basically DK Metcalf with an extra three inches on top. And playing you know in the trenches as a tight end rather than being way off to the side as a wide receiver um it's just different I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does transfer to the receiver position i mean is that is that far-fetched or is that likely than i've ever seen um 
playing my nine years in the NFL. They did a lot where they put him at receiver. There's not a lot of guys that can really go out to the number one receiver as a tight end and, you know, give cornerbacks matchups. Okay, so they're already doing it. The problems. The Miami game, he runs by one of the best corners in the game, um, and Xavier Howard. Like, literally just runs by, and it shows the type of elite Let's Have a look at the speed, bro. And my heavens, Xavier Howard has oh, been he did, well, I mean, by the rookie from Florida. About a 30 yard play, it wasn't. Go ball, a foul he's just big. X. He's six foot six, good. for God's sake. He's nice. Tall as hell. Yeah. Like, thicker than I thought he was going to be. Mm -hmm. A cover catch is from Miami. He will be on the top 100 from, like, one hand. Kyle Pitts with a one arm grab that. People on the sideline are like, wow, how did he do that? That was incredible. I've never seen an athlete like him. Has great catch radius, great. You got you got nine year veterans in the NFL saying they've never seen an athlete like him. Hands. What a catch by Pitts! Holy So smokes. he made two one handed catches the during the season. Game that we had, he literally catches it in between two people, and he like reaches back with his right hand, he catches it and pulls it in, and just keeps going. Talk about athletic. Three one handed All catches. About his ability to release off the ball, and Levante David trying to shadow him against the Bucks too. He hit me with a move, and I was like, damn. Well, oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a, a, good, a, a really a, a fantastic move, but at the end of the day, if he's that big and that fast, um. All he needs is just that little bit of separation, which he's got, clearly. Well, he hasn't... I mean, Levante David hasn't been helped by his fellow linebacker, White, but uh, at the end of the day... And I let a rookie do that to me, but, you know, just testament to him. He doesn't move like the tight end. So tall, long, so he uh, definitely going to be a headache, you know, for, for me. <laughs> Kyle Pitts seemed to catch everything including the attention of stars around the league. Kyle Pitts, tight end, number eight. Yeah. He's... He's good. Pitts, you see his catch over here? Going to... Debo's like, are you kidding me, bro? You're talking... Mate, you're talking to me. Mate, I'm... my name is Debo Samuel. I am the original triple threat. Are you going to tell me that some guy's better than me? No, absolutely not. I ain't going to give you that shit. No way. No way in hell. <laughs> you see how disgusted he looked, bro? Watch this. Nah, man. Nah. What are you talking about, bro? Come on, Jimmy G. What are you talking about? What's up, bro? That ain't going to fly with me. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> He's not a tight end. He's a big receiver. Yeah. There may still be debate. Okay, yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. What exactly Kyle Pitts is. Kyle Pitts is a tight end who sure looks like a wide receiver. I'm telling you what, he looks like Julio Jones, and he's a tight end. Yep. Unbelievable. Exciting, man. That's all I can say. One word that comes to mind is exciting. He's a tight end receiver. A tight end receiver. Didn't I just say it at the start of this video? Damn. Tell you what, give myself credit for that one. You know, we can't even listen as a receiver or a team. Give myself credit <laughs> for that. A freak of nature. Everybody calls him a unicorn, but he, he's a freak of nature. He's he's different. Good job, man. Stay healthy, man. You're going to be a hell of a player. You already know that, though. You already know that. He's the second coming of Calvin Megatron Johnson, is what I'm going to say. All right, guys. That brings us to the end of the 10th video of the day, uh, the last one of the day. I'm going to get some editing done and hopefully throw these up on the channel as fast as possible. Thank you for being here. Head down into the description box below to um, find out ways to support the channel. Um, anything is appreciated. Um, these videos will most likely not be monetized, but I haven't tried it yet. Uh... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, well, I'm not hopeful. But you never know. Every now and then a video can slip through and it doesn't pick it up. I don't know how that happens. But uh, guys, thank you for watching. And in the next video we will be looking at Odell Beckham Jr. That's a name. That's certainly a name. Coming in at number 90. Wide receiver for the Rams. Top 100 players in 2022. Thank you and...
Good night.